Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Drone Mesh. So today we're going to be taking a look at this generic all-in-one flight controller. I think it is a clone beta flight uh, flight controller, all-in-one flight controller. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the newer versions, but I picked one of these up because I really wanted to see it. All right, so some of the specs here, are it's using the F4 flight controller. It's using the F4 microcontroller unit, the bigger brother one, which has a lot of inputs, which is a good thing to see. It's rated at a higher clock speed, which means in theory, it's a lot faster. Not a lot faster, but it's noticeably faster. Now it does also have OSD and it's using the MPU 6000 gyro. So the MPU 6000 gyro is the one that we love and we want to see. So it does have OSD, like I mentioned. It doesn't have a barometer or anything on board. And uh, if we take a look here, it's actually an all-in-one flight controller, believe it or not. When I first got it, I was like, how is it an all-in-one flight controller? Because if you take a look here, it says RX1 motor 1 ground. Okay, but where is the power? So if you take a look on the back side, there is the power. Now, I don't think this is going to be an easy build. I think it'll be a little bit time-consuming. Because you have to install the power of the ESCs on the bottom of the board. And then when you go to the top, that's when you start installing the, um, uh, you know, the signal, the ground, and the telemetry. It even has a telemetry ready for you on RX1. Most boards nowadays are just doing it on RX1 for telemetry. So that's something nice to see here. Now, as you can tell here, we do have our boot button right there. So if you ever break it, just hold this and then plug in your USB. And then that'll get it in boot mode. And just remove your finger and you'll be good to go. Now, let's just go ahead and take just a quick look at this. Um... So if we take a look at the back side here, I think we have a, a, a small LC filter for the camera feed, but I could be totally wrong. This could be the 3.3 volt regulator. I haven't really checked over the board. So it's one of those two right there. Here we have a current sensor. So it does have current sensing. That's nice to see since it's an all-in-one flight controller. I keep forgetting that it's an all-in-one flight controller because it's so small and compact. Uh, the design is pretty nice. It does have three huge caps right there. We do have a little diode going on for it right there. So if you're wondering, well, how the heck do I put my battery in here? Well, very simple. Uh, the ground would go here from your battery. For, your, for example, your XT60 connector, this is where the ground would go. And on the other side, this is where the positive would go. But you got to be careful not to have them touch each other because look at the amount of uh, space between them. It's very tiny. It's like one millimeter. So don't have the thing hanging out like the solder hanging out or the wire cut out here. So just like have the basic, uh, let's just see the wire silicone part be like to right there when you solder it. So you don't have, you don't risk a chance of just completely frying everything and your battery. So take that into consideration when installing this here. And um, yeah, it has a pretty good amount of ports and, and available uh, UARTs. So it's very good to see here. It does have OSD like I mentioned. It's really, really not much going for it. It's just like, you know, it's right here. You just. Put what you need to put on it and you're good to go. So let's just take a look here. Here we have ground and it says cam V out V in. Now I think this cam is, you know, this is why I said this cam doesn't really mention anything, but I think it's a five volt regulator with an LC filter. This is what I believe, but I could be wrong. I really want to test this and I think I'm going to test it in another video. Um, why am I not testing it now? Because I've already started working on the setup where I can actually strap a full quad and simulate flight and we can actually get real results for noise, for components, even jitters. If jitters were to occur, we can do all kinds of awesome things. So that's coming up very soon. I'm um, still working on it. It still needs a lot of design. I'm currently cutting out the first prototype out of my uh, out of carbon fiber to stick it on the bench and I just received new load cells so I have a couple ideas planned for the channel for new testing um, environments that I think are going to be pretty awesome to see I, I'm, I'm excited myself about them so I'm sorry for going sidetracked off of this FC but let's keep going here so yeah like I mentioned here's the ground and it says cam v out v in so like I, I think this is a 5 volt because if you take a look here all of them are the voltage the positive voltage this rail and um yeah, I think this is the, it's an, it's a filtered five volt right there for the camera. And here is, you know, out, which would go to your VTX and V in, which would come in from your camera. This is the yellow wire here. And now here we have another ground five volt RX2 and TX2. So if you wanted to use, let's just say IBUS, IBUS, you would con connect it right there and you would set up, um, UR2 as serial RX in the ports tab in beta flight. And uh, if we take a look down here, Five, ground 5 volt LED. This is the LED signal. So if you wanted some LEDs, you could put them right there. And here we have, I think it's saying S bus. Let me just double check. It's very far away from me. 
Yeah, this one's S bus. So this is S bus PPM, and I believe there's a place to bridge it to change. But I don't think anyone's using PPM anymore. So S bus is right there, five volt and ground. Uh, S bus I think is on UART three here. Uh, yeah, I think it is on UART three. And here we have ground 3.3 volt and uh, for a spectrum port, basically. You can just install your spectrum right here. Very nice to see, very well thought out. And that's really it. I mean, it's really just simple. And here's a buzzer. You can install your buzzer right here. What else do we have here? Here we also have more. This is uh, for RSSI. So if you wanted to connect RSSI, you could set it up right there. Here's another ground. Here's RX3 and TX3. These would be uninverted uh, RX3 and TX3. And if we take a look here, what do we have here? All right, so if you didn't use telemetry on RX1, like right there for the ESCs, you could also access the UART1 right here with a five volt and a ground. So there's TX1, RX1, five volt and ground. And here, these are for possibly just doing some it doesn't really mention, but probably software. Oh, we got our clock right here. So maybe we could probably install a GPS if we wanted to, even on this right there. It's possible, but I'm not sure. And there's also another extra RX1 pad right there. That's pretty interesting. That's uh, maybe if you wanted to monitor everything, we can install a wire, but nobody really has the equipment to monitor anything here. So yeah, well, you got an RX1, another RX1 pad right there for some reason if you wanted that. And... It's pretty simple. I mean, I really, it's re it's nice, but you know, the only thing that's really bothering me here is the fact that the power is on the backside. I know they couldn't fit it, but holy crap, it's going to be a pain in the ass to actually build this one. Um, it seems like a good board though. I can tell you that right now. Maybe we'll set, no, 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 it'll be too much of a headache for me actually. I was going to say maybe this would be, no, it wouldn't work. For like a ESC testing setup, we could set the well, with my new setup. We could probably use the flight controller, but I don't think so. I think I'll probably build this on a little budget quad or something. It's thirty three bucks. It has all the options you need. It's pretty nice. The quality of the board is actually spectacular, to be honest. Like the soldering, the the, the, the components. If to be, it feels like a Maytech board. That's how good it is. It just, it just, it it's well done. You know, how 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 does it perform? I really cannot answer that at all. Obviously, I just open it and I'm just looking at it here and it's just like a little overview. So, yeah, well, that's all I could really say right now, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a very nice little board here um, and that that's all I could really say. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please consider joining my Patreon. I'm doing a ton load of giveaways this month and your chances of winning are pretty high. And you can also use the field links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That really, really supports the channel and keeps it going. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.